Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day today. All right, so today what I wanna show you is how easy it is to oil the hook in the 1055X. Now, this is something that you have to do every day before you use your machine. And I'm also gonna work on a little project too that I'm doing. I need to get it done today because today is Bus Driver Appreciation Day. All right, so I'm gonna flip the camera around so that you can see what I'm doing on the screen. Okay? All right. Okay. So I've turned my machine on and you can obviously oil the hook before you turn on your machine. You have to turn the hand wheel on the back of your machine. I've actually found that using the control pad on here is much easier than trying to reach around to turn the hand wheel Make sure you have it in the right spot, okay? So if you look at your machine, down on the bottom right here, this icon, if we click on this icon, it's going to bring up this row of icons, and here is the oil icon, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that, and it's gonna tell me the hand wheel will rotate automatically to a position where it can easily be oiled keep your hands etc away from the hand wheel and the hook and then you're going to hit okay now let me show you what what it does when i hit okay so i'm going to go ahead and we're going to position the camera so that you can see the hook okay so right now you have full view of the hook we'll give it a little bit of light this is the hook right here okay this area right here is your hook now when i hit okay watch where that hook goes all right it's moved right into the position it needs to be your hook is right here okay in order to oil at this point okay now when i hit okay the screen on the machine changed so i'm going to take you over to that all right so next what's gonna happen is it's going to tell you, put a drop of oil onto the hook, keep your hands, etc., away from the hand wheel and the hook after oiling, and then press okay. The hand wheel and hook will return to the original position. All right, so let's go back to the hook. All right, so now you should be able to see the hook which is very clear and I'm going to use my tweezers to show you okay here is the hook right here this is where you need to oil right in here okay so if you've got this type of oiler it's going to make it really easy to put it in here and then put a drop of oil all right so once you put your drop of oil in, now I've already put a drop in for today. Once you put your drop of oil in, then you're going to hit OK on the screen and you'll be able to see it. The hook, this hook right here, is going to go back into place. So I'm going to hit OK. Oops. And now my hook is back in the original starting position and it is ready to go, okay? Okay, so at this point, all I need to do is put the top back on my oiler here, because you don't want that to get everywhere. And I had a little piece of Kleenex. Hang on one second, there we go. And then I'm going to put my bobbin back in. I'm going to pull some out and then just snap it back in here. I was just going to snap it back in, but now for some reason it's not. Go there we go. Okay. And then I'll just bring my tail out here just like this and then I'm ready to start embroidering okay so we will get to that in just a second 
Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up what I need to put my lettering. I'm going to do my lettering first, okay? And I really like this lettering right here. So I'm going to go ahead and type in what I need to put on the thing. Um, let's see, we're going to go W, but we want it medium because I need to do a couple lines. We, uh, nope, let's delete that. I want it to be small. Um, well, I have to remember to make it small. Love. Okay, then I'm going to go to the next line. You are on. We love our bus driver. All right. So it looks like that may not fit in a four by four frame, but I really need it to fit in a four by four frame. So let's see, how are we gonna do this? Um, I may have to split up bus driver because that seems to be where the problem is. So we're going to, we love our bus driver. D we love our bus driver. Now I can put that in a four by four frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it and I'm going to keep it the same color as my number one. So let's come over here. I'm going to do this for each row. Hit OK. Hit End Edit. And I'm ready to go. I'm going to move it up just a little. And this is moving everything up. Should be able to get it up to 10. Okay, now I can go ahead and hit embroidery and I can go ahead and embroider it. So let me show you how I hoop these and we'll be right back. Okay, so what I'm using is I'm actually using two sheets of this is cutaway stabilizer and I got it off of Amazon. It is the new bra thread embroidery stabilizer. These are eight by eight sheets and they are the perfect fit for the four by four hoop. Now on the front side of the bag, I actually embroidered the state flower. Now I got this from Floriani.com. They are doing a series and you can check out their Facebook group. They're doing a series on all the state flowers and every Friday they do a new state flower. So I, I got some Floriani thread from the quilt shop and went ahead and did the state flower and it actually turned out really nice. I was really impressed with the detail. Let's see if you can see it a little bit brighter. So this is really cute, okay? Now the bags, <coughs> excuse me, the bags I purchased at a store that has since gone out of business. Actually, I think it was last year. But you can get these small bags on the internet or maybe at a craft store, something like that. 
So I use the two pieces and I've got the two pieces of stabilizer here and then I've got the bag in here. Now I'm not going to really worry about the wrinkles on here. I will be able to get those out later. But now we're going to take it to the machine and we're going to go ahead and stitch out the wording. Okay? Okay, so this is the Floriani.com website, as you can see here. And if you go to projects and scroll down, you're going to see sketching across America. We're going to click on that. And then what you'll find is you will find all of the state flowers that they have done so far. Now, these are free free downloads of state flowers okay and there's about 18 right now but every Friday on Facebook they announce a new flower that they do so if you join their Facebook group you'll know which one's coming out and if you don't just check back on Friday at, at their website okay these are all the flowers that they've done so far and they show you different projects I think I'm not sure what that is it might be a neck warmer um, how to do a potted plant different things here's on a bag here's a pillow oven mitt so check out their website okay and then that way you can get the free state flowers also okay okay so I'm done for the day and I've got my bags with my sayings on the back of them, okay, and the state flowers from Floriani.com. So I hope I've made it easier for you to oil your hook. Don't forget, if you have the 1050 or the 1055 or any multi-needle machine, make sure that you oil that hook every day before you use the machine. That's going to save you a lot on maintenance costs as far as that bobbin area is concerned. Okay, so I hope I made it easier for you to use the screen and doing your oiling, all right? All right, that's it for today. I hope I've taught you something and I hope you subscribe to my channel, okay? So don't forget to hit that like button and share this video to somebody who may need to learn specifics on how to oil their machine. And as always, I hope you have a great day stitching. Thank you for watching.